Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to build the header in your store. Header is the section at the very top of a page that displays the navigation menu, brand logo and some other attributes like search bar, account, cart icon to help your customers easily use and explore your store. The same header layout is used on all pages of a store, so it's important to make it organized for displaying meaningful and eye-catching information or useful links throughout the store. With the Minion theme you can build an attractive and informative header by using its built-in options, so let's set this up together. Before you start customizing your header you are going to want to create a menu. This can be done in the back end. Press the back button in the top left hand corner to go to your Shopify admin. Then press online store, navigation and hit add menu. Here you can create main and secondary menus if you are going to use two menu lines for your store. When creating a menu you can also nest some menu items. Now let's go back to the theme editor and press the header section. Here you can choose one of three menu types of the desktop that meets your needs and concept of what your header should look like. However, regardless of the header type, the theme will display a menu in the pop-up on mobile. So let's take a look at each header type that can be used for a desktop and start with the classic menu that is already set up here. Once you've decided which type to use, you can select a menu or menus for your header. To choose a main menu, press select menu and find the one you need. By the way, here you can also press the create menu button that will redirect you to the navigation menu in your Shopify admin. We'll skip it for now. So if you need to add another menu line to the header, you can choose it in the secondary menu. You see, here it is. Let's also view how the second type looks like, which is the tiles menu. If you scroll down all the way to the bottom, you can find additional settings for the menu. Here you can set up the number of menu items up to 10 to display in the row. And decide the size of the icons by using a second slider. Now we can see how the icon size changes when using the minimum and maximum values. The color picking determines what background color the menu items have, and if you need to change the color of the item on hallway, you can paste the hex code for the active color. Ok, let's go back to the drop-down list of the menu types and choose the last one, vertical menu. This is what it can look like in your store. In case you might want to choose a color for the vertical menu button, scroll down to the very bottom and choose a color either by using a paint palette or pasting the color code in the corresponding field. Here you can also decide the state of the vertical menu to display it as closed or maybe to spread it only on a section or two sections. Once you are done with all the menu settings, you can continue by playing around with the layout that works the best for your header. For example, choose the width of your store. The theme includes two options – boxed and wide. Now you can view the difference between these options. To display a search bar, you can simply enable the option. If you want a sticky header when scrolling up to the top of a page, you can check this box. Enable the option Show color line to add a separator between header and announcement bar if you use the last, otherwise the color line will be displayed at the very top. Next, you can change the font weight of the main menu items. It can be displayed as normal or bold. This is optional, but if in any case you need to apply color to icons, you can use icons color picker. Make sure that you are using the tiles or vertical menu before to apply changes, because this setting works only for those types, and this is how it might display in a store. 
In the header section you can also set up your logo, it can be different for desktop and mobile. Or if you add a single logo for the desktop, it will be shown up for mobile as well. Here you can either use an image or SVG code. To add an image, hit select image and choose the one from your library. Or upload the new image from your computer. As an option, you can paste the SVG code to the input field to display a logo, but make sure you have the width and height attributes to show the logo properly. What else you can control here is the logo size. Use the width scale to set it up as you need. You can repeat the same steps to apply a logo for mobile. Let's also move down to the theme settings and press the section. Here you can find options change the card icon. The theme has a basket, bag and card icons. Choose the one you like. We've now completed all our changes to the header, so don't forget to press the save button to display settings in the front end. Let's check the store front now. You see, we got the same menu as in our tiles demo. If you want to stay updated with the newest videos, press like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and being with the Minion theme.